Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and today we are joining in with Rach and Bella Crafts on their Junk Journal Tips, Tricks, and Hacks 2023. Today is the 6th, and it's our day, and guess what? This girl almost forgot it. <laughs> well, actually, I had it on my mind all weekend, and I don't have time to do a lot of videos ahead of time, so my videos are usually, when you see them that night, I did them that morning. <laughs> Every now and then I can get a video or two ahead, but I have so many other things going on that I normally don't get a video ahead. But I thought about it on Saturday when I was filming and I, I just got tired and I stopped Saturday. And then yesterday I really didn't feel like filming all day. So guess what? Today I was working away at tax information stuff and all of that. And all of a sudden I went, oh, today's the sixth. <laughs> I got to get busy. <laughs> Thankfully, all of my projects that I'm going to be showing you, and I may not get to show you all of them on this video, and if I don't, don't worry about it. We will do another video and continue on. The projects that I'm showing on this video are, you know, dear and near to my heart because I love doing things with junk mail, as you guys know, and I've done many, many projects with them. This is only going to be 10 of them so I will try to link videos for other ones you know I'll link it in a little card up at the top up here and you can go back and check out other videos I will put all of the information below all of these ladies I mean I am in the presence of some really fantastic crafters here I'm not going to name them all but there's 28 different uh, crafters I think different I think Rachel is doing maybe a couple of days here and there but uh you know, just wonderful crafters. So I want you to go over and subscribe and check out all of their channels. Please, please, please do that. If you want to find all of the videos, I will have a playlist below that I'm going to put all of the videos in. But you can also just go to hashtag JJ Tips, Tricks, Hacks 23 and it will pull up all of the videos of ours that are in there now melina is also going to be doing hers on the 15th so watch for that one too all right i'm going to lay that aside now what i'm going to do today is i'm saying i'm going to do 10 different hacks that you can do with junk mail envelopes i may not get them all completed but I have a few that are already done that I can show you real simple and real quick how to do. But we're going to start out with a really, really easy one. And this is going to be a simple, uh, and this is going to be a simple pocket. Now, I know all of us love pockets in our junk journals. So the easiest way to grab a pocket and make it quick is just to grab a junk mail envelope or if you just have regular envelopes just grab a regular envelope and cut it down I usually cut mine down to let's see what am I cutting this down to this is about four inches tall this is a perfect size for a tag to go in a tall tag so this is cut it it's like four and then I cut it at four so it's like four by four and then I go ahead and cover the front of this. Now I'm going to be using various papers today. They're going to be different papers from uh, different creators. But I'm going to start out with this paper from Betty. I don't remember. I have Roses Are Red on here, but I know that's not red. Um, I don't remember the exact collection this is from. But I will try my best to link it below. I'll, I'll yell at Betty and... Uh, see if I can find out what the name of this one is and link it below and if you don't know Betty who I'm talking about she is our designer one of our designers and we have access to most all of her digitals and I'm very thankful for that but she designs a lot of these for us specifically something that maybe Melina and I have asked about or maybe we want for a journal something like that so and I just thought this blue is absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to use this one. And Betty, if you're watching, link it below if I forget, okay? And I think I'm going to use this, this part right here. I could use that part. No, maybe we'll use that part and I'll save this for something larger here. So all I do, and this, this is so, so simple. These go so quick. So all we would do is... 
but you're just going to put your glue all over your little pocket here. Now I'm not going to cover the back because guess what? The back is going to be glued down. But I am leaving, and let's see if I can get this somewhat near straight. Do you think we can? Yeah, we can. Okay, I should have flipped it over like that from the beginning. I am leaving a little bit on this side, a little bit at the top, and I'm going to leave a little over here that we can fold around, just so that you won't have a chance of seeing that envelope anywhere. It's going to look just like you just made a pocket out of this beautiful paper. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and just pre-fold these a little bit, just like you was covering a journal cover or um, chipboard, something like that. If you was making a journal cover, you would do something like this. Or when I cover my chipboard, I do this. And then we're just going to, oops, I'm dragging everything over the screen. Then we're just going to cut out these corners here. And I cut mine at a little bit of an angle. Don't go all the way across like that. Okay, then up here at the top, what we want to do is we want to we want to glue this little piece on the inside. Okay, I'm going to cut these corners off a little bit more just so that it'll go down in there even. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just carried in three big packages. <laughs> Shows how out of shape this girl is. Okay. And I'm just going to use my bone folder. Okay, we've got that covered. As you can see. And now we're just going to put these little pieces. We're going to glue those around. Now I may not embellish every one of these that I make because embellishing as you know, it takes a little while. I mainly wanted to show you how to do these. How to use all of that junk mail that comes your way. I know everybody gets it. And see, look at that. Isn't that cute? And on the side, you can't see any of that envelope. Now we're just going to cut a little pull in the top here. Okay. And then you know that I like to ink, so I ink mine. You don't have to do that. That's not something that you have to do. But I like to ink mine, especially when I cut things, because if I cut it a little bit off, then that ink covers up any of my mess-ups. Okay, so that's your first one right there. And I don't think that paper needs a lot on it anyway. Isn't that pretty? All right, we're going to lay that one aside. Now, our second one is going to be another easy one. It's just making a little corner tuck. And I'll show you. I'll grab this envelope right here. Show you how I did that. Very simple, very easy. I either cut just a piece off. Sometimes I have a piece left over if I've done something else. Or I'll just take this and fold it up like this. So see, I've got it folded. I just folded it even with this edge. And then I'll cut across here. And this is actually going to make you two side tuck pockets. Okay, and then down through here, I need to cut there. And I use, when I start to do that, I use my trimmer because sometimes I can't cut too straight. Every now and then. So I just put it in my trimmer and I chop that off. And there are two side tucks. Now, if you have one, see this one's closed all the way. This one has a, an open spot here. All we're going to do is close that up real carefully. Right at the edge, you want your glue. And when you're putting your glue down and you have a little place like that that you want to put it just a real fine line put a very tiny amount of glue and then when you start to press that down pull outward instead of just doing like this 
pull outward with your finger and that will make that glue the excess squirt out here instead of going in and closing up your pocket okay all right so we're just going to cover one i'm not going to cover all of them i'm going to cover one i am going to use a piece of this beautiful paper this is from betty as well i'm going to be using a lot of her papers today just because i absolutely love them <laughs> And because I have a lot of them printed and I love, love, love using them. The next journal that I will be making is going to be using one of her digitals. Maybe two. I may combine two. Don't know yet. I haven't totally decided. All right, here again, I'm going to leave a little excess. Let me do it this way so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm going to put it down on here, but I'm going to leave a little room all the way around. You see, I glued that here, but I'm leaving a little room all the way around so that I can tuck some things in. I'm going to do the same at the top. I'm not going to cut it even with that. You could. You could very well do that. But I'm doing mine a little bit different. Now this one is a little bit more tricky to get all your little pieces tucked in and hidden because it's a corner tuck, but you can still do it. Down here at the bottom... You just need to cut out a little point and then on the sides you need to cut out just a little bit of a thing like that okay glue that little piece down a little bit more and now we're gonna you can do this a couple of different ways you can leave this open and have another pocket so you'll have a pocket behind and a pocket here or you can just glue that together i like to leave it open sometimes i put a couple of tags in there so I'm going to go ahead and pre-fold this. And that just helps me when I start folding everything around. Okay. And then I'm just going to dry fold this and make sure that it all goes on the inside. I may have to trim the ends a little bit with it being at an angle. But let's see. I don't think I'm going to have to. Okay. That all goes in there. So we're just going to glue that down. And you can use any type of glue that you want. I like my art glitter glue and my barely arts. And, you know, sometimes, depending on the thickness of the paper, I'll use um, my glue stick. But this paper, I printed these on a thick paper. It's uh, 120 GSM. So it's a little bit thicker than regular copy paper. But if you have a regular copy paper, you may want to use your glue stick so that your glue doesn't show through okay and i got a little bit sticking over right there so we're just going to trim that off and there is our little corner pocket now the way we would do that let's just say this is our journal page right here we could put it down like this let me get another page since that's the same color and you can't see it that well we'd put it down right here and I would glue it just down through here and up through here. And then you have a tuck in the back and a tuck here. You could punch out a pull if you want. I normally don't. But that is a little corner tuck. Quick and easy. Now, you can also put a little paper here if you're afraid that'll show. That doesn't bother me. But, um, you know, if you're afraid it'll show, it will. But I don't, I don't mind that gray in there. Okay. So then that is our little corner tuck. So there's two of them. And then I always have a few of these cut out. That way I get to going with them and I can just make a bunch in no time. Now we're going to use this one to make a tag. And it's going to be a um, window tag. Now let me see if I've got a... Let me see. If, yeah, I've got one right here. This is the envelope that I use. Now if you don't have one with a big window in it like this, don't worry. Just use whatever you have. But I have a few that have the big window like this. And I cut them down. This is cut two, and I think it's six. Let me show you. It's six and a half. Six and a half that way. And then all I do on the sides is I just trim it up where these two sides look about the same. As you can see, all I've done is just trimmed a little bit off. Okay. That is all I did on that. Now, your window, you have a window that'll go on the front. So we want to put something in here so 
it shows through really pretty. Now you could go ahead and cover this up if you want to, but I like to put something in there. Here again, I have some of Betty's uh, butterfly library cards. You know, I like my butterflies. So I'm thinking I want to put that one right there in and I'm just going to tear it because it'll be quicker and most of this is not going to show anyway. And you could put anything that you want on the inside of these. Just use your imagination. I like to make sure that's wide enough and it is, but I'm going to leave it just a little bit wider. That gives me some extra room to glue. Now all I'm going to do is slide this down in there like that. And I like that just fine. You've got a little bit of that writing showing up there, as you can see. I love that. So now we're going to open this back up, and I'm going to glue that in place right where it is. I'm not going to take it out, because if I take things out once I get it placed, normally I can't get it placed back where I wanted it. So we're going to glue it there. I'm just going to turn it around. I'm going to glue it on this side, or this end. Go ahead and put some glue around the edge here. Not that this is going to matter too much because on this one I'm going to close this up. Now you could also leave this open and have a tag in a tag if you wanted to. You could leave the top open and have another little tag that slid down in there. I'm not going to do that on this one but you could do that with no problem. So we're going to close these sides up. I'm just going to put a tiny bead of glue down through here. Now, Rachel didn't tell me how long these videos needed to be. <laughs> uh, and you know me, when I get started with envelopes, I can go all day. So mine may be a little bit longer than most. But hopefully you'll hang around. Now, like I said, I'm going to close mine up. I'm not going to leave it open, but you could do that if you wanted to. All right. So there is that part of it. Now all we need to do is cover this with paper. Now I love this paper with this. Don't know, don't even think it goes from the same collection, but we're going to use it. So I think I'm going to put that down that side. And now I do the, the quick and easy way. I don't tear my papers first. I go, I put my glue on here and don't get too close to your window because you don't want your glue seeping out onto your window. And then I take my paper and I just put it down there up against that window. Then I take my scissors and here again, I'm going to cut it a little bit larger than the piece. Just because, just because I want to fold it around. You don't have to fold it around. I've seen them. I've done them that, that weren't folded around and they're just fine. They're not a problem. But it's just, just me today. So that's how that would be right there. Now I'm not going to glue the back yet. I'm going to go ahead and cover my other sides and I'll glue the back all at once. Now, I don't want to take away from this, so I'm probably going to put something like that at the top, or maybe even that piece. Let's just do that. Now this one I will tear because it is up at the top and it's hard for me to get it where I need it. So we'll tear this one. And I tore it a little bit larger. So we will put, let's see, if I want that top or the bottom. I think I want that on there. So I'm going to tear this off. Let's see, I'm going to tear it about right there. Okay, yes, that'll work. So again, we're going to put our glue here. 
on the envelope. And then I just want to cover up the edge of that window and glue that down. And I like that. That works. And now we need to put some paper down this side. Okay, this is from a totally different artist and a totally different paper collection. But I'm going to use it on here. And I think, let's see, do I want to go all the way up with that? I think I'll go part of the way up with that. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, and then we're going to put a little strip across the bottom and I think we can come back with this little tiny strip here. It's the one that we tore off. We'll come back with that on the bottom. All right, let's do our folding around now. Now, at this point, you could trim off. You wouldn't have to fold this around if you don't want to. It's just my way of doing it today. <laughs> Next week, I might not do this. Who knows? Sometimes when you have some envelopes that are really uh, sketchy on the side, if you do this, then you can cover up all of those little pieces that may be a little torn. or And it makes it look a little bit more uniform. Okay. And then at the top, I don't, I think I'm just going to trim this off at the top. I'm not going to try to put anything on the inside. Whoops, that's not the top. That was the bottom, Edith. Oh, well, at the bottom, I just trimmed it off. Because that's going to be glued down and it's not going to be opened up. Okay, now we closed our tag up. So I, I don't want anything on the inside other than that. So now all I'm going to do is cut it into a tag shape. Now, you don't have to do this. You can just round the corners if you want to. But I just go ahead and cut it into a tag shape. And you may say, well, why use envelopes to do that when you could just make a tag? Well, I like using up my envelopes. Yeah, I could just make a tag, but I'd have to cut that window out. And on this envelope, that window's already cut. So, there you go. There is a tag. And I think all that needs is maybe a little label of some kind right here, and it'll be finished. Let's just put that little label on there. It's one of Katie's labels, and she is another one of our designers. There we go. Now you can just punch a hole in the top, and you can use just a regular hole punch. I like to use my ribbon punch. And there you go. Put seam binding in it, and you've got a beautiful windowed tag. All right, that is number three. All right, now for this one. I've got already have one of those made, so we don't have to make one because that would take me just a little while. But let me show you. Let me grab it wherever it is over here buried. Now this one, I actually put a card on the front. This is just a sympathy card or something that I got, and I used the card for the front. But you can use this for the front. What, we're, what this is going to be is a journal cover. These are just the perfect size for a journal cover. You can see this is an envelope in the back that I have cut out, and I've left a window here on the back of it. And I've just covered it with paper, stitched around it, and that's going to be a journal cover. You just put your papers in here, and you've got it made. I've made lots of these before. So what you would do is cover the outside, cover the inside, and the back, and then I would leave these open, and let, you could let that be a little place where you slide in a tag, a double tag maybe, and it had the tags have something different on them. 
You can do it any way that you want. If you don't want a window on there, you can cover it all up, but it's very, very simple. You don't have to use one of these on the front. I just happen to have this like that. But as you can see, this is six inches wide and it is nine and a half tall. So that's plenty big enough for a journal cover. So make a journal cover with your large envelopes. They're very, very simple and easy to make. All right, so that is four. Now, number five, I also have a few of those made and that is pouches. I use my big envelopes and I make these pouches and I use these pouches to store everything in. As you can see, I've got this one jam packed full. Now, all you do to make these pouches, they're so easy. I'm gonna link a video at the top where I made some, but I take a large envelope like this. You could also make them with a small one. You just have a smaller pouch. I cut the ends out. And then you have it opened up like this. You go ahead and cover the inside. You can leave your window open if you want to. So let's say we'd have this for the front, this for the back. Cover the inside with some paper. Then you just cover the outside. Now I didn't leave windows in mine. I covered my windows open, but you could leave the windows in yours if you wanted to. Once you get the outside covered, then I used washi tape on this one to go around the, the edges, to close the edges up. As you can see in there, I've just got the washi tape where I covered the ends and the bottom and here, made sure that it was closed up good. But I also, on this one, I stitched. I just ran a stitch down each side and it closed it back up. You can, <clears throat> you can do it either way, any way that you want. And I just covered the inside of this one with some book page. And then I left enough of my paper, or this actually is a napkin. I left enough of the napkin that I could fold it over to the inside. But you can cover them with napkin. You can cover them with book pages. You can cover them with scrapbook paper. You can cover them with digitals. Whatever you want to cover them with. It doesn't matter. I used napkins on these because I had an excess of napkins. And I just used my glue I used Mod Podge, I think, or Collage Podge. I painted it on with my paintbrush, put my napkin down, painted it on the other side, and wrapped my napkin around, and it, it's, that's finished. I mean, it's done. But I will link the video where I did these. I show exa examples from start to finish. So I think that's five. Now, number six, I'm going to show you. All right, so this is number six, and all it is is an envelope. And I have cut it into or made it in the shape of a tag, which is basically what we did here. I did go ahead and cover the window open, or if this one had a window on it, I don't remember. I left one side open. I closed everything up all around through here, but I left this side open for a pocket. And then I just tucked a little journaling card or journaling piece of paper in there on the side. So it's a hidden tuck tag. I'll link the video up here where I made these. Very, very easy and simple. Uh, that was one of Melina's challenges, I think. Only she, I don't think she used envelopes, but okay, that is what? Seven? I don't even remember. This one, we're going to make a windowed hanging tag. Now, I have cut this down again, just like I cut that one down before. All I did was took my envelope and I just cut around the window part, left about the same amount all the way around. All you have to do. Now this one we are going to cover with a little bit of paper. So let me grab whatever paper I want to use and I'm not sure what paper I want to use. We might just use some of this, some of this pretty rose. i tell you what, let's use this. I like this. Yes, we'll use this. I don't have to trim any edges off of that. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do though, I'm gonna put something on the inside here because I am gonna use this little window. Okay, I have a little piece of vintage book page here. And I know it's vintage because absolutely it's falling apart in my hands. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to tear it without tearing it all up. I just need a little piece of it. About like that. And I'm going to tear a little bit of that off. I don't know 
that's going to be tall enough or not. Let's see. Okay. I think it works. Yeah, we're going to put that little piece of book page in there. And again, I'm going to do like I did before. I'm just going to run my glue behind just a little bit, enough to hold it, because this is going to be closed up too, so I don't have to worry about having a lot of glue in there or something going to hang on it. Now, I'm going to find a flower. Let me grab my book here. Okay, I've changed my mind. I'm not going to do a flower. I'm going to actually do some butterflies because I've got flowers on here. So we're going to do a butterfly on the inside of the little cage. I think that one will work. We're going to do probably two. Now these are some butterflies that we had in the shop last year. I haven't been able to put my hands on any for this year. But as soon as I do... Okay, let's use this deeper blue one. I think two is all we're going to be able to get in there and make them look right. And these are not, um, they're not stickers. They're little acetate butterflies. So what I'm going to do is stick them down like that. That one will go there. And then... This one down there, like that. Oh, I need a little bitty one to go on the inside there. Just a little tiny one. I need three, don't I? All right, let's do this little brown one. I don't know if he's going to be small enough, but we're going to see. So we're going to push this blue one up a little bit. Push the pink one down a little bit. Then see if we can slide him in right there, and we'll put him and fly in a different direction. Oh yeah, that works right there. Now all I'm going to do on the back of this is I'm going to put a drop of our art glitter glue down there where the butterfly is going to be placed. I'm not putting it, I'm putting it under the butterfly itself so that it won't show from the outside. If you put it under that acetate, it's going to show. But I'm putting it kind of under the wings and the body. Okay. So there are little butterflies all caged up in there. And now we're just going to cover it with some of this paper. Okay, and I'm just going to tear a couple of pieces and we'll get this going. Let's see what that does. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close this up because this is going to be like a little specimen window, so I don't need it open. Close that part up. Got our butterflies glued down. Then we're going to put our glue on here. You're going to cover this basically the same way that you covered that tag. The tag with the window. Let's see. Put it this way. And I'm going to go ahead and do this side. And you can put all sorts of embellishments on this and it's so pretty. Let's see. I don't know if it matters right side up or upside down, but we're going to put that that way. I like my little torn edges toward my opening there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and trim this off. Now on this one, I'm just going to trim right at the edge because I'm going to cover the back of this because it's going to be a hanging tag. But you can fold it over. It doesn't matter. Okay, then we can put a little piece up here, like that. And then a 
little piece down at the bottom. Let me tear that better so that I won't have that white edge or I'll cut it. Cut that white edge off. Yeah, I'll put that right there. Okay. And then let's just trim this off. Okay, then we're going to cover the back. This is going to be a little, either a little hanging charm or a little hanging tag. So I'm going to cover the back just in case it gets flipped over. The back will be covered up and you won't don't have to worry about anything, any envelope showing back there. Now I'm going to round the corners and I'm hoping, my glue's not dry, but I'm hoping this is going to round them. It does. Not quite as finicky as my big one when it comes to glue. Now I would also stitch around this. I'm not going to stitch around it right now because we're not going to do that in the video, but I would stitch around it and then I'm going to show you what else we're going to do to it. Okay, we're going to punch a little hole up here at the top. And I'm going to put this little pink eyelet in there. Okay, so there's my little pink eyelet in and then you can either hang some charms from it or you can just put a little string in there okay there's your little string in or you can like I said you can put some charms on this and put a bubble clip on it and then hang it from one of your pages you can put a paper clip on there and hang it Lots of different ways to use this. But that is hanging specimen tag. Now, I don't have one of these here right this minute because I put the last one that I had made in the journal that I sent out to, to um, Gail. But this is one of the flips. And I'm not going to completely cover this because I know my video is already long, probably. But all you do for to make these flips is you're just going to cut open your envelope on either end and then you are going to cover this with paper this with paper you can leave your window open if you want this with paper and this with paper and then you would glue you would glue this down let's just say this is the edge of your page you would glue this down like this and that would be a little envelope flip. And again, I will put a link up here at the top where you can see where I made one of these and put it in a journal. But see, it would open up. You would have on this side, you would have a pocket, a little pocket or tuck here if you wanted to. And then on this side, you would have all of this journaling space or you could make a pocket out of it. it you can make a little top, top tuck pocket any way that you wanted to do this. It doesn't matter. But it's just a little side flip out like that. Very, very easy and simple. And like I said, I will link a video where I made that. The other thing, and I think this is the 10th, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I think this is the 10th. Belly band. You can use your envelopes, cut them down. This was an envelope that was like this. I just cut it down to the width that I wanted my belly band and I wanted to use the window so I left the window on this one. Now you can use this and have little side tucks for your belly band, a little pocket in here. You can slide something inside, put a little flower in there. It makes it really really pretty. And then just cover this with paper and you don't even have to cover the back because that's going to be glued down. Glue it here and here on your page and you've got a sweet little belly band. 
I'm sure I have made some of those and I will also link that above. Oh, that is nine, so we gotta have one more. I'll show you another one really quick and easy. This one is the simplest little thing you've ever done. Let's use, um, let me grab an envelope that doesn't have a window in it, just for, for this sake. On this one, I closed up this, close up the little pocket part. And then you're going to take your envelope and fold up like this. This is going to be a pocket, and then this will be a pocket. So you have a double pocket on your journal. We'll go ahead and, let's see, let's cover this right here with some paper first. I'm going to go ahead and do this one real quick with you. Or not real quick. I'm trying. I'm trying not to hurry myself, but I'm ended up hurrying myself anyway. You know how that goes. I didn't want to rush through these, but I didn't want the video to be, you know, so long that you wouldn't enjoy it. But we will come back on these that I have just kind of shown and told you about. We'll come back and do those on videos. If I haven't already got a video done on it, we'll come back and do some. Most of them I do, though. Let's see. Let's go ahead and tear this off first. But, you know, I said that I was going to do something that I knew that everybody had in their house. And, I'm, you know, everybody's got junk mail envelopes. If you don't, tell me your secret. <laughs> I don't want any either. <laughs> no, truthfully, I, I didn't used to want any until I figured out that they can be used for all kinds of things in your journals. So now I love them. Now on this one, I'm just going to fold over to the sides. I'm not going to fold this top over. So we're going to cover that. And a lot of this, uh, I may speed up, you know, pieces of it where I was inking or something, just so that um, you can see the gist of the video, but not have to watch every little detail. Because some of them, you know, most of you guys know how to ink. All right, then we're going to fold that up. And I'm going to, I'm going to cover this and then punch a hole on there. I would like to cover it with something that is not quite as not quite as busy as that. All right, I'm going to cover it with a little bit of this pale blue. I know that that's red and this is blue, but that doesn't matter with me. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go ahead and take this top off. And, ooh, did I get it wide enough? Oh, Edith, did you tear it too narrow? Maybe not. We'll see in a second. That's what I get for trying to hurry, isn't it? Mm, barely, barely, barely. Okay, we're going to... Tear this off about right here. Put that over to the side. And let's see if we can cover this without my envelope showing. Since I was too hasty in tearing. Just did. Just did. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and press that little seam down real well where we scored it. I'm going to trim this off because I don't need that wrapping around. And trim this side off a little bit. Okay, and that side's good. Now I am going to wrap this over. I need to glue that again right there. You don't have to wrap this over either. This is just to ensure that I have a good smooth finish up here at the top. So let's go ahead and see if we can punch a little pull out of there. There we go. 
and I'm going to ink around this before I close it up. Wow, I just re-inked my ink pad and I probably need to let it sit a while. <laughs> I didn't let it sit long enough before I started using it. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and punch a little pull up here. And someone asked me uh, under one of the videos if I could show how to re-ink the ink pads. Sure, I'll be glad to. I'll do a video on maybe re-inking your ink pads coming soon. I've got a few that need to be re-inked anyway, so. Okay. All right, there is your double pocket. So you have, when you glue it down to your page, let's just say this is your page, you glue it down, you glue it down here, here, and here. You have a pocket up here and a pocket here. So it's a double tuck pocket. All right, guys, I think that is 10. I'm pretty sure it is. I will put photos of all of these, and like I said, any of them that I did on another video, I will link a little, there'll be a little card up at the top that pops up, or I will put the uh, links below as well, so you can go down there and click on them and go over to the other um, videos. All right, we will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out all of the other people on our list. They are wonderful, wonderful crafters. I am subscribed to, I think, every single one of them, <laughs> and I love every one of them. I wish I had more hours in the day to watch more videos. All right, we will talk to you later. Thank you so much, Rachel and Bella, for inviting me again this year to be a part of your collab. I absolutely loved it. We'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and go and subscribe to all of these other channels. Bye-bye.